Hey guys and welcome back to the Coders Legacy channel. In this video we'll talk about how we can turn off the default console window generated whenever we click on a pyinstaller.exe. This is the default behavior by the pyinstaller library whenever we generate a standalone exe. Because the command prompt is used very often in most programs like uh, you're doing a print statement, is there's an error being thrown maybe. So that's where all of it goes. It goes on the command prompt. Now the problem is that if you're distributing a GUI application like TakeInter or something with PyQt or WXPython, these GUI libraries, the problem is that you don't need a console window. It just looks weird because you already have your GUI window and then there's a console window appearing next to it. Let me just show you what happens. Okay, I'll do py installer, then basics, which is the name of my file. This is just a basic TakeInter program I have here. Okay. And if I convert this, okay, it'll take about 10 seconds. And if I just open this distribution file that was just generated over here. Okay, and it's completed. So I just go here, open up our folder, which PyInstaller just generated. I click on basics.exe and this generates a command prompt. Okay, along with the GUI application. We don't want that. So what I'm going to do is pass in a no console option down here. Okay, py installer no console basics.py. And now if I run this, this will generate, uh, you know, the same thing. And let me just overwrite that. Yeah, wait, hold on. Okay, um, I should have, should have deleted that. Yes, it's going to overwrite it now, the previous one. And now I just go and open that again. Okay, and now if I click on this, only the GUI application appears. Okay, no console window. So so we were successful. Another tip I'll give you guys is that if you use autopy 2 exe instead, it also makes things pretty easy. It's a library. It's the same thing. It uses PyInstaller in the back end. And actually you can see that over here. It just runs this command for you. But you can select all these options over here. Console based, window based. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one.